All right, we are live on the W.TV. I'm Ezra Broder, and I am being joined by two of the stars of the USF women's basketball team, Taylor Proctor and Janae Dykes. The Dons are going to the NCAA tournament for the first time since 1997. Thanks for joining me today. Thanks for having us. Um, so last Tuesday, you guys uh, surprised a lot of people by beating BYU in the West Coast Conference championship game. Tell me what the next week has been like for you guys. <laughs> uh, this week has been surreal. I mean, there's been a lot of interviews, a lot of people coming to support. I've never seen, you know, the gym be so packed when we arrive back at campus. Um, the support system has been awesome. And there's been a different edge to us when we step on court for practice. The practices, they've been intense, but they've been extremely exciting. So it's been an awesome week. Your coach Jennifer Azey said during the press conference after you guys won the championship that you hadn't lifted weights in a while. And so you guys are gonna hit the weight room hard after the championship. And it sounds like she was not lying. She's not. We only had one day off. Um, we were right back at it. You know, we have to get ready for the team that we're going to play. And now we have Stanford. So I think it was Friday we had weights. And right after that, we had practice. We went back to work, you know, back in the lab. <laughs> <laughs> well, you mentioned it now. No rest for the weary. You guys play Stanford Saturday at 6 o'clock on ESPN2 in the first round of the NCAA tournament. And that game is at Stanford. Um, a team you guys are pretty familiar with. Um, your coach is very familiar with, the West Coast Conference is very familiar with. How do you guys feel playing at Stanford? I think we're excited. It's going to be a great atmosphere. Uh, the fans are going to be rocking. Jim's going to be going crazy. Uh, I think we do well against, you know, those athletic teams on a big stage. We're extremely well prepared. I mean, Coach AZ has been, has not only played for her, but she's been around, you know, Stanford for a long time. I'm sure she knows what to expect. And then, the rest of the coaching staff, their scouting has been awesome. Um, we're very well prepared, and I mean, the team is just excited. Well, you mentioned your, your coach was a star at Stanford uh, back in the day. We won't say how long ago that was for her sake. <laughs> did, did she have any knowledge of, of the program or anything that, that, that you think she's been able to share with you guys that that may help in the game? I mean, she came from a great coach, you know, and her coaching style is amazing. But I think she said to us that their style is a little different from back then, you know, because different players and stuff like that. So, I mean, they had to do some research, you know, of their own and scout the team very well. And, you know, Coach Blair is working on the scout right now, and she has, she has what we need to, you know, take them down. But it just comes down to us playing our game in USF basketball. We talk about scouting Stanford and um... – one of your West Coast Conference teams, Santa Clara, went into Stanford and beat them earlier in the season. Now, I know usually San Francisco and Santa Clara don't always uh, co-mingle that well, but have you guys um, been able to pick their brains at all or, or hear anything from them or even just, just watch film from that game to see how they, how they were able to beat Stanford? Um, we've definitely watched some film from that game. Uh, it was no surprise that they took them down. Stanford, I mean, Santa Clara was a great team this year. You know, their 2 3 zone seemed to work really well against them. And, uh, you know, the Dons and the Broncos may not be the best of friends, but we love their coaching staff. And I'm sure our coaches were able to talk and, you know, pick each other's brains a little bit so we can get the W. Well, obviously, Santa Clara and, and the rest of the West Coast Conference teams will be cheering you guys on against Stanford on Saturday, again, 6 o'clock on ESPN2. Um, Stanford itself, just, just being the, the name that it is and the women's basketball powerhouse that it's been, can seem a little intimidating, but you guys have definitely shown that you play your best basketball in the biggest moments and on the biggest stage. So how are you feeling just sort of approaching this game and knowing that you're now sort of at the next level in, in college basketball. Stanford's a great team, and, you know, they have a big name. And, but at the end of the day, they put on a jersey just like we do. And I think, you know, just coming out of the West Coast Conference tournament, and we're very confident we have the momentum going to the game. And um, just getting back at it on the gym and the lap, you know, going back to practice. We're killing each other in practice, you know. We're getting ready for this game. Like, we're very, very well prepared, and we're excited. We're confident. We have nothing to lose. So. I'd imagine um, some of the 
the best parts of, of playing in the NCAA tournament and, and even just in college basketball in general is taking these road trips to places and sort of finding out where you're going and then getting there. But this is, in theory, just an easy car ride down to Palo Alto. Are, are you disappointed at all that, that you're not taking sort of a, a bigger trip? Um, I'm not really disappointed. I think it's kind of cool to stay in the Bay Area, kind of like the Battle of the Bay Area. We're just taking, you know, a 45 minute to an hour drive down. Um, they've always treated us great. I'm sure wherever we're staying will be awesome. Um, overall, it's going to be an experience no matter what, because we've been dreaming of this since we were kids. So just to go out and travel, whether it's five minutes or five hours, it's still going to be an awesome experience. And our fans can finally come to the NCAA game, you know? Yeah. So it'd be really cool. That will be really awesome to have those uh, Don's fans in the stands at Stanford again. First time in the in the NCAA tournament since 1997 for the University of San Francisco, and a big part of that is because of you two. Um, we'll all be cheering you guys on, of course, Saturday six o'clock on ESPN to San Francisco and Stanford. Mm -hmm. Ladies, thanks for joining me today. Thank you. Thank so much. you. Have a good one. Mm -hmm.